Okay, so now we have him all tacked up and we are ready to put the bridle on. Um, we have here, um, and what we use most around here, our English bridle, so it does have the nose band. If it was a Western bridle, the biggest difference would be is it doesn't have the nose band. So, no big deal. If you're using a Western bridle, just ignore the nose band part that I'm going to explain. Um, but basically, you want to just make sure it's all in order. You want to have um, the crown and the nose band pointed out. Basically, kind of imagine it like you're going to put it on the horse. So, you want to have um, everything just looks like it's when everything comes down, no tangles, no twists. Um, and also, you're going to have the reins out here. And then once it's all um, together in order, I just kind of loose the whole thing over my shoulder. I go and approach the horse. And um, the way I like to do it is to take the halter, basically unbuckle it here behind his ears, take it off, but not all the way off. Kind of like we're going to do, like we started with the halter on, around his neck, and buckle it. So that means the horse isn't going to go anywhere. We still have a good hold on him, but also we have full access to his head here. And then next, I'm going to take the bridle, and I'm going to kind of stand, um, basically facing his head now at his shoulder. The first thing I like to do is put the reins over his head, so that gets him out of the way, and that we're not going to step on him, because leather reins break easily. And um, so now we're just going to have the bridle with the nose band facing out, or the nose band and the crown facing out. Um, sometimes I do like to pick up the nose band and have it up here in my hand, so it's not in his, um, not my way when I would go to put the bit in his mouth. Um, and you notice here I put my right hand over top of his head. If you're doing it on pickles, he's a little bit taller. It can be a little more difficult, but I do like having my right hand over top of his head as the best just to kind of give me control of his head. And if he lifts up, I can push it down um, and also just move with him. So, And then I go grab the bridle, the top of the bridle, with my right hand. And I'm going to take my left hand flat. You don't never want to stick your fingers, of course, in the bit in his mouth. Um, always use your hand flat to encourage him to pick it up, slide it over his ears. I always like, and you can let the nose bend down, to push the ear forward and slide that over his ears so I don't bend his ears. Fix the score lock a little bit. And so now the bridle is on. And the last thing, um, well two things, if you had a western bridle, the only thing you have to do is buckle the throat latch. And while he's doing this, I do just like to have a hand in the ring, if he doesn't go anywhere. Now the throat latch doesn't go super tight because it is around his throat, so we don't want to make it real tight. But it needs to be snug. My rule of thumb is to have four fingers basically across here when I pull it all the way out. I don't want to be able to have four fingers here where it's tight. It's a four finger that is the loosest point. And always tuck all little leather straps into their keepers. That's good. And then with the nose band, which is only on an English bridle, um, we're going to tuck the nose band strap under the bit strap right here, just so it sits nicer on his head. The nose band is something we want kind of tight, just so he doesn't open his mouth a lot, just so it gives him nice. Air. So his is a little small, so it's actually the first buckle, but that doesn't happen for most horses. always tuck this one in its little keeper as well. And my rule of thumb for the nose band is I like to have two fingers right at the bridge of his nose. Two fingers um, loose. So that looks pretty good. And then when you're ready to go off, you always unhook the bra or the halter. And usually you can just kind of let that fall against the wall. Take the reins over his head and you can lead him out of the board.